My name is Mario Malicki. I'm a medical doctor by training, but I'm a meta researcher who works at the Stanford program on research rigor and reproducibility. I've been researching peer review and scholarly publications for the last, I guess, 13, 14 years. Um, and yeah, it's been my dream job for quite some time. The research we published in POJ is, uh, to the best of our knowledge, the first ever analysis of structured peer review and how it's implemented in journals and what are the reviewers, how do the reviewers respond to it and how different it is from the traditional peer review comments that we find um, that we're more used to in journals. We do know that um, there's a lot of journals out there that use some of the structured questions. Uh, if I recall correctly, PLUS uses one to three questions, and uh, I've seen other journals when I reviewed for them that they use um, also you know, several questions, but we've never seen analysis of these questions and never seen their being compared to traditional review reports. So this is what we try to do to sort of uh, promote and maybe call for other publishers, journals, and researchers to do the same analysis and to see if implementing structured peer review leads to better quality peer reviews and um, move forward to the peer review field. What we were very happy about is that the adoption by the reviewers was extremely high. More than 96% of all the reviewers that were invited to you know, review for manuscripts answered all of our questions. I think that was the most exciting finding. Um, personally surprising for me is one of the questions asked reviewers, um, how does the manuscript need language editing? And, and we found higher disagreement here than I would have expected personally. I thought that we are maybe, that maybe we have more established criteria of how many mistakes or what kind of, you know, uh, structure is needed for language improvement, but it need, I think that needs to happen as well. Uh, that agreement wasn't the lowest one. The lowest one we had, of course, in the study was regarding the statistical interpretation and analysis of the data, um, which I think is where the core of the science lies. Um, but what it is interesting with this, unless we publish how many people disagree at this point, we will never know what it actually means to peer review a study, because this sort of indicates that there's much more disagreement between reviewers than maybe we previously thought, and we need to come to the root of why this disagreement happens. This hope is that editors will consider implementing structured peer review in day journals and that they will publish results of those trials. Um, and my second hope is that the authors and reviewers who either write their manuscripts or review for other journals consider addressing these questions while they provide peer reviews. We've seen that traditional peer review reports address less questions than the set of questions we advised. So we're hoping that this maybe strengthens the quality and the um, maybe even the length a little bit of the peer review reports that journals receive. This was an observational study and not a randomized controlled trial. So a lot of uh, our findings should be interpreted with caution. I think more studies need to happen till we prove that structured peer review is, um, ben is better than the traditional way of doing peer reviews, and we need to see what it affect are actually on the editor's decision making and on uh, transfer of knowledge and the improvement of the manuscript themselves. But as this, as we did highlight, this is a preliminary study, and I think the directions are definitely going. Encouraging, encouraging us to continue in the same way.